strong gusts of wind were seen across California on Sunday as winter storm number four continues with the potential for downed power lines, trees and more. According to D.C. Williams from CHP Fort Tejon, if you're passing through the grapevine, driving safely should be your number one priority since the area is under strong wind advisory. Williams said even though the rain and heavy winds can increase the chances of car accidents, it's the driver's job to keep everyone safe. It's not the rain that, that causes the crashes, it, it is, it's the driver. You're in control of your car. You're in control of how fast your car is going. You're in control of your sudden lane changes and what you're doing and how you're driving. PG&E says more than 10,000 customers were without power in Kern County on Sunday. After speaking with Gabriella Ornelas from SoCal Edison, she said down power lines can create very dangerous situations and what you should do when you see one. They can be extremely dangerous. Um, we suggest um, a minimum distance of 100 feet. So if folks are driving around, if they are walking in their community and they come across a downed power line, they should stay away. Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Miles Musio says wind speeds kicked up, but luckily it won't last for long. Look at these winds in Fraser Park at Dejera Road, 94 miles per hour, Stallion Springs, 60, Brown Mountain just to the north of Bakersfield. 64 mile per hour winds and the 56 mile per hours of Meadows Field. That was nearly a record for the month of February. But the good news is that those winds are dying off and we're not going to be seeing that kind of wind going into the evening, going into early on Monday. In Bakersfield, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.